Hello, Titch. What are you up to today? Oh, you don't know yet. You're looking for something to do. Why don't you go and see if your mum needs some help? That's right, go and ask her. Oh, you can't ask her. She's on the phone to Auntie Margaret. Well, she'll probably be on the phone for quite a while. But look, you could finish washing the floor for her. That'd be really helpful. You like washing floors, don't you, Titch? And you like squidgy mops. They're good fun, those mops. That's it. Dip it in the bucket. Not too much water, mind. Give it a good squeeze. A really good squeeze. Well, that was certainly a good squeeze. And that seems to be just the right amount of water. Oh dear, it seems your mother doesn't think that was just the right amount of water. And she thinks you should take your tricycle into the garden. She could be right, you know. Oh, yes, I think she means it, Titch. Titch, your mum said into the garden, Titch. Mm, I think the floor might be slippery. Mm, just as I thought, the floor was slippery. That's it, into the garden. You too, tail cat. Oops. Look at that. There's Peter. He didn't tell you he was watering the garden. He knows how much you like watering. That's right, Titch. Go and tell him you'll help. He looks as though he needs some help, too. He seems to be having trouble with that hose pipe. In fact, he seems to be having quite a lot of trouble with it. Goodness me, just listen to that. What a fuss over a drop of water. A drop of water never hurt anyone? And yes, Peter, Titch will hold the hose pipe carefully while you turn the tap off. He's going to hold it very carefully. Well, would you believe it? That hose pipe has got a mind of its own. Just look at that. Hmm. It seems Peter has had enough of your help, Titch. He wants you to go and help Mary. I don't think there was any need for that, Peter. Titch was only trying to help. Now, where is that Mary? There she is, over there. She didn't tell you she was gardening either. That's right, tell her you're going to help. Oh, she's gone. Perhaps she didn't hear you. But look at the state of those plants, Titch. See how they've wilted. You'd better plant them for Mary before they die. That's it, plant them in a neat row. There, Mary will be pleased. says they're weeds. 
and it took her hours to pull them out. But I'm sure she's exaggerating, Titch. You know what that mare is like. Anyway, it seems Mary doesn't want any more help either. But look, maybe Dad does. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe he doesn't. It's funny how Dad didn't seem to hear you either, Titch. But just look at the size of those weeds. They're enormous. And look how many there are. That's it, Titch. You're really helping now. You're helping a lot. What's that, Peter and Mary? They're not weeds. And Titch has just pulled out Dad's spinach. The spinach he's been feeding and watering every day. The spinach he's really, really proud of. And here he comes, oh dear. He is not going to be very pleased. But he is pleased, Titch. He's very pleased. You picked the spinach for him. Mama just sent him out to pick the spinach for supper just as the football was about to start on television and the Wanderers are playing. Now he won't miss the kickoff. Well, Titch, see what a help you've been. Your dad is very pleased with you. And I bet your mum will be pleased with you too. Yes, Titch, I just know that your mum will be very pleased with you too. My brother and sister.